Welcome back, viewers, to Cube World Part 11. Yeah, yeah. And I was talking to Maria, and she was like, Zen, you know what? I got a, the perfect sword for you. And I'm like, well, tell me more. And she says, but it's power level 17. So I've got to wait a full level before I can use that, but that's going to be the sword I can edit and put some cubes on. So today, we're going to try and get to a mountainy area. So maybe if we go to them mountains over there... And there's an actual mission over there, but I believe that is the... Was that the... The mission what we did before with the beetle? If it is, I'm sure there'll be some caves there and we can just avoid the beetle. Because I don't think I'm strong enough yet. I mean, it was it was too intense last time. That's why I had to speed it up and cut some parts out. Because it just went on for, like, literally 18 minutes. But, oh well, me and Mr. Bunny... We can make our way over there. We can just see if there's any iron deposits. Those are the things what drop iron and we'll be good we will be able to put some stuff on our weapon and design it ourselves and that's just one of the amazing things about this game well just one of them because there's so many amazing things but that by itself makes the game very unique where you can just design your own weapons with the cubes just putting them on and you don't mine it like in minecraft you just oh well i can show you just attack like this and then you pick it up easy and Mr. Bunny can help out with his big puffy paws. So we need to make our way slowly to mountainy areas because those typically have caves in them and hopefully very deep caves. Caves are always invested by bats. Yes, bats. And I think that's the only thing I've ever found in a cave. Let's take up this peacock because we do need to level up for that sword to use. And next episode, so that'll be part 13, will it? 12? 12 yeah be part 12 I'll make sure that I will show you the weapon design and we'll we'll do that and I'll look at, it'll look amazing it'll look freaking awesome let's blow this thing up I don't know if there's ever any stuff inside here once there was but I don't know if that was a glitch because you can blow these up with the bombs but no so once I did find like emeralds inside but it was in a cave system so maybe that was why it, it spawned within a rock inside a cave system, but I don't think they spawn outside on the outside boulders, unfortunately. But it's okay, we'll just find some caves. Mr. Bunny's a little bit scared of the dark, but he can keep with me. A bit like Elizabeth in my Bioshock series. She She's scared of the dark, but she has a lamp. Go check that out. If you don't like Bioshock, fair enough. You can just keep watching my cube worlds and, well... Uh, eventually I'll make, get around to making some new content, some original stuff, hopefully. If you guys stick around with me and be part of the Carter's crew because over in the hood, we're all cool. We're, we're all family over here. If you leave a comment, I'll be sure to respond within... I think if you leave a comment on a video what isn't later than a week old, I'll, I respond to every single one if it's a question. If you're just saying nice video, sometimes I might not be able to respond because obviously I'm doing other stuff or the, there wouldn't be a very good point. But if you're saying Zen do this or Zen do that, I'll thank you or if you give me tips, I'll thank you. Oh! Alright Goblin, you are facing the wrong person. Me and Mr. Bunny, we are just totally badass. Oh, lordy. See, we might find a sword, what I'm able to use. And then we won't even have to buy it off. Or what's she called? Maria? Something like that. Ooh. But we're only getting one XP for killing these. Hey, Mr. Bat. So, the bats always symbolize they're usually outside a cave also. So, if there's a bat anywhere nearby, there's always a cave somewhere. Somewhere around here. And that's a crow over there. Oh! They're swarming with them. Let's get out the lamp. The lampage. Okay. Let's make our way through here. So, like I've said before, part 14, I'll start editing these videos up so it, there'll be a lot of jump cuts there'll be me it'll be me playing for at least half an hour and then just cutting it up and putting the parts what are interesting in after that so what did i say part i said 14 so part 21 i'll be playing off camera but if you all really just want me to keep playing and only only re play when i record that's fine i'll do that but it's just i do have a feeling like it's a lot of the same stuff. I mean, it's very fun for me to play, but it might not be that fun for you to watch because I might not be able to deliver that good commentary on 
stuff what I've been doing throughout the series of Cube World. But I love you all for. I know there's a lot of subscribers, at least, let's say, a hundred subscribers. What I have gained from my Cube World series so far. So thank you all for loving me, and I love you too. I love you so deeply. Here's the iron. Right, Mr. Bunny, you deal with him while I pick up this. Oh, God. Am I getting one XP for these bats? They are white text names, so that means that I'm a little bit overpowered for them. Right, let's look in here. Oh, God. You can get better lamps in this game, because me and some of my friends on Skype, we've been playing uh, on a separate character a little bit, and we have better better lamps will go very far, like you can see, maybe about twice as far as this lamp allows you to. So there's, you have to explore and find the new stuff in new, different biomes and cities. Oh, there's a boulder here. I can demonstrate blowing it up. I wonder if there's anything behind it. Sometimes there isn't, sometimes there is. It's all down to luck, basically. Oh, anything? There we go. Look, inside the boulder there was some gold. So there's me proving my point. Yeah, high five, Mr. Bunny. We did it. I don't look like an idiot anymore. <laughs> Sometimes I'm pretty sure people just think he's talking nonsense. I try not to talk nonsense. Do, don't I, Mr. Bat? No, you think I talk nonsense? That's why you run up to me and just start a fight? Well, fair dues. Fair dues for yous. You're into little blocks now. And then you cremate yourself into the ground. Oh, well. Ooh. Anything in here? Right. Yeah, so, look, I have to get up there. So, is there a way? Oh, yes. Yes, we did it. I'll just put one on top of here just in case. I've got the bombs are so cheap. They're two copper each and the more missions you do and you, you get amazing weapons when you go through dungeons. So you get crazy amounts of money. So basically a, a load of bombs, a bag full of bombs is nothing. Nothing. And they're very useful for these kinds of KV areas. Hey, what's going on? And even just if you want to flatten the terrain around your village, city, sorry, you can just destroy all the boulders and you'll get a better view there won't be any boulders blocking your way hey get out of here you <whistles> we did good we did good didn't we mr bunny well like if you love me subscribe to support me check out all my links down below leave a comment about the video and i will see you guys in part 12 right yes i think so okay peace out